even call the general store a restaurant because it's not really just a restaurant. It's an experience. You walk through the door and it's visual and it's the smells and the sights and the sounds and everything going on around you. There is no place to compare to the general store. Almost invariably when uh, our family has people visit from somewhere else, we bring them to the general store because it's such an uh, integral part of this community. I think it's the center of the town. I noticed that right away when I moved here that this was really a happening spot and everything kind of centers around this, this, this restaurant. The store changes depending on when you come in. You know, you come in for breakfast, it's kind of a laid back hometown little place. Um, you come in for dinner uh, during the weekends and it's uh, full of music and uh, rocking sort of a place. So it just it constantly is in a state of change. We're just enjoying the ride, so to speak. Yeah, it's, quite, it's been quite the journey. Our kids left home and we got a new baby, so to speak, ten years ago, and uh, it's been quite a project. Yeah. My favorite thing to eat on the general store menu is the Mayan burrito. My favorite thing, you know, I usually eat whatever the special soup is. I usually come in and get um, a humongous salad. It's a really great value. And on the regular menu, shrimp and grits is, is one of my favorites. If I come in the evening, I usually do get the tenderloin because it's really good. <laughs> has to be the Howland Grits. It's a singular um, recipe and it isn't found anywhere else in the world. The chicken salad, the beef salad, and the tabbouleh salad. The Mayan burrito has to be my favorite. Oh, and the billy salad. You know, I was a vegetarian. I came from a really small town where I couldn't find anything to eat. And then I found this place and I was like, oh, there's so much for me here. Everything is good and I hate it because like when I want to get something to eat, I can't decide what I want because everything is so good. I love everything, especially our desserts because Amy makes you know, everything she's ever made. I love our desserts. I can <laughs> eat desserts every day. She makes a sour cream apple pie with walnut topping. It's killer. It's so good. <laughs> so I'm a huge chocolate freak. So those, some of those cakes are just so good. Um, I have a really hard time and she's bringing them out one by one when Amy's here baking. We have our own pastry chef and she's quite good and of course I've got to sample those quite regularly which, <laughs> which is a tough part of my job. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're hoping that maybe someday we'll do a cookbook so everyone will be able to enjoy the GSE recipes. <laughs> I see some of the farmers that bring bring in the produce and stuff, and that's always been cool. And the bakers right here across the street that um, bring the bread, so that's that's pretty awesome. Like it's real food. All of our vegetables, you know, come from uh, either Raleigh's farm farmers market or local here that we have. So <clears throat> we we just try to purchase everything as we possibly can, as close to what we can. Now, out of season, sometimes we have to purchase things, but we focus on organic as much as possible. As a performer, I play at the general store about once a month. I play with a variety of different aggregations. That keeps it fresh for the audience and, uh, and gives me a, an outlet for my artistic, uh, creative energies. Well, for me, being able to garden uh, in a very small way in public is wonderful because I love to talk to people about the plants as I work. And I love people to say, oh, you're the General Store Cafe lady. That, that is really a wonderful feeling for me because um, I like to have that identity. Well, my name is Manda. It's my business name. And I had jewelry in the store for a number of years. And of course, I'm a patron of the store, too. This is one of the first places I was able to be encouraged to bring my art and to sell it. Um, very supportive of local art, very supportive of um, everything that's going on in the community, actually. It's, just, it's like constantly they're giving you know, to the community. Um, not only that, but this is what I consider the cultural hub of the entire county. So if anything's going to happen, it's going to happen at the general store. The general store has all 
always been a, a, above and beyond supportive of the community. Every nonprofit I've worked for, including some that I've made up, the George Moses Horton Project way back in the day, has had the opportunity to come and have free dinners and to charge their supporters a small amount of money and raise the money from that event. And also there's usually some kind of auction involved. Um, it's kind of a basic premise in every nonprofit in the county that you've got to have a burrito bash. It's a brilliant idea. You just feel like you're a part of something, like you're part of something bigger than just yourself when you're here. It, in, in so many ways, it's, it's like going into my living room and we're just totally relaxed here and, and we're always amongst friends. I get to know people here. This is the place where people really sit down and have conversation. I came in depressed and not hungry. Had a great Australian Pinot Noir and a terrific Portobello veg vegetarian burger and left feeling much better. A great place to turn your mood around. <laughs> That's cool. Table 305 <laughs> at the General Store Cafe has a secret little drawer in it. And what we found were all these notes that all the customers left us. And we didn't notice for a long time, but there are a lot of napkins in here with notes on them. They brought the crane in today to work on the courthouse. Cloudy, warm, nice to be here at the GSC with my sis from California. Fall is here, the air is clear, the leaves are falling down. Hot soup, cold beer, my stomach cheers. Thank goodness the General Store Cafe is here. And that's what's great about the General Store Cafe is that even the customers are like our family. So we're all just one big happy Pittsburgh GSC family. <laughs> This is like my home away from home. When I'm not at home, I'm here. And even when I'm not at work, I mean, I spend my days off here just because I love the people. I love whenever I come to the general store, I'm happy. There's always a lot of happiness here. Everybody is really, really cool, um, whether it's customers or employees. And everybody cares about what everybody else is doing and how they're doing and what's going on. And we try to, we try to let that bleed over it into the customer, too. It's, there's nobody here who I don't care about. I think it's a really important place. We would be much poorer without it. 